everyone, Tim Schofield here, and this is the RingCon Gen 2, and they might have actually smoked the competition with this one. This smart ring has no subscription fee. It's the first to provide sleep apnea monitoring, and get this, it works on Android and iOS. Big thanks to RingCon for sponsoring this video and sending over the RingCon Gen 2 for us to check out. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna talk about this very light, very natural looking smart ring, the RingCon Gen 2. Let's get started. To begin, I'd highly recommend getting the ring sizing box to make sure you have a perfect fit. It's actually really premium. I love the experience. Not only can you find the right size for you, but it also gives you an idea of what the different colors are going to look like to make sure you order the one that you like best. This RingCon Gen 2 is actually crowdfunded through Kickstarter for over $4 million in 45 days. Inside the box, you get your standard booklets, a USB Type-C charging cable, your charging case, as well, and a closer look at that RingCon Gen 2. In comparison to Gen 1, you get a 12% decrease in width and a 23% reduction in thickness. It looks great. For pricing, the RingCon Gen 2 is $299, and remember, there's no subscription fee. That's huge for me. You can pick it up on RingCon's official website, Amazon, TikTok shop. I will be sure to link to it in the description. After putting the smart ring on for the first time, the first thing I noticed was how crazy light it is. Depending on the size ring you get, it's between two and three grams. It almost feels like it's not even on your hand, so it's super easy to get used to wearing. This ring's also really thin. It has a minimum thickness of two millimeters and a width of 6.8 millimeters and I do really like how natural looking it is. And it's nice that it's thinner on the side so it doesn't bother the fingers next to the ring as much. And similar to flagship phones nowadays, it has an IP68 dust and water resistance rating and can withstand up to 100 meters of depth. So hypothetically speaking, you could go swimming with this and it should be just fine as long as you don't go past that depth. But also really nice that you can just wash your hands, go in the shower, just do other things and not have to worry about it getting wet because it is water and dust resistant. The RingCon Gen 2 tracks a ton of data. It's very useful and helpful for health monitoring. It'll track your steps, your sleep, sleep apnea monitoring, like I mentioned, but also blood oxygen level, your activity, and just a lot more. And so with this great design on top of all of that data collection, let's talk about battery life. You might think, oh, that's not going to last very long because it's thinner, it's lighter, it tracks a ton of data, but it actually does last a long time. It'll be dependent on the size ring you get, but the battery life will last between 10 to 12 days without recharging it into that very useful charging case, by the way. Now the case is actually pretty crazy. It's not like your earbuds case where, you know, maybe charge two times full and then you have to recharge the case. You can get over 150 days worth, which is almost half a year. So you only have to charge that case two to three times a year and that's it. And so it's great to bring with you when you're traveling. It's great to just have on your nightstand. You throw the ring in it and it fully charges pretty quickly. And that battery life really does make this more and more useful. You don't have to fumble around charging your case all the time. If it does need a quick charge, you can just throw it in the case. Case is very portable. It's very premium. And like I mentioned, the RingCon Gen 2 is the first smart ring to provide sleep apnea monitoring. RingCon says they deliver 90.7% accuracy identifying OSA, which is obstructive sleep apnea. And they're actively pursuing FDA certification as well. Now, I was able to test this myself, and it's actually really useful. It gives you a lot of details. On the homepage of the app, there it is, the sleep apnea monitoring. And I've tested it over a group of days, and I've had no abnormalities detected. There are some apnea events. It lets you know how many. So if you switch days, let's go to the 19th. You'll see I had 18, but my AHI was still 2.3 in just the AOK -okay zone so to speak. On top of detecting sleep apnea, it can also track just your sleep in general. And there's a crazy amount of information actually. It gives you an overall score, lets you know how long you were asleep. This was actually last night. And the efficiency, the different stages and the percentage from REM to deep sleep, your heart rate, your heart rate variability, and even blood oxygen, skin temperature, just kind of crazy how much detail and data that this will actually have. And naps. Now, the other day I took a nap and it detected it exact timing too, from 10.58 a.m. to 11.40 a.m. So it did work how it should and you can add it 
to your sleep tracking. Now, sleep apnea can cause a group of different health disorders, so it's important to identify and bring to your doctor if it is triggered for any reason. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like I have any issues with it. And don't forget the Rincon Gen 2 is compatible with not only iOS, but Android as well. There's an app in the Play Store, in the App Store, you can go find it, but you can also use it on your tablets, that means, whether you have an iPad or an Android tablet, it works with a ton of different devices. The Rincon app is extremely easy to use and holds a lot of data and gives you a ton of useful feedback. For example, your wellness balance. It will balance four different things, let you know your recent seven day comparison and give you insights, suggestions and more. On top of that, tracking sleep, activity, your stress levels, your heart rate, and there it is, the big one, sleep apnea monitoring. Going back and checking other days is really simple with this calendar, and you can even check trends. So you'll see weekly and yearly reports. I've got about three, four weeks of data here, so yearly isn't gonna come up with anything, but if you click on weeks, it lets you know, hey, my sleep has gotten a little bit better from the previous week. It gives you a ton of AI insights, your sleep score, total time of sleep. Just check, look at this, and it's awesome that you can check on a week-by-week -week basis and compare as, as you go along. Of course, you can also check the battery percentage, the amount of time remaining on it, data management, and this I really like. You can gain badges as you wear the ring for a longer period of time, amount of steps, calories, uh, stress level, and sleep. Checking out activity, going into it, lets you know how many steps you take, calories you're burning, standing. Today's been pretty low activity day overall, but it lets you know how intense the specific activity you're doing is. Stress levels are also a really good one to keep track of. It lets you know the normal range and it'll even chop it up between morning, afternoon, evening, a specific ratio before, during sleep as well. And of course your heart rate. It's going to keep full track of that. Not only that blood oxygen level, heart rate variability over time, just really, really useful for your heart health. There's even activities you can track with your smart ring, including walking, running, and even cycling. Cycling's a great one because I ride my bike all the time, actually. And when I'm done, it will even give me a map of where I biked, how long, a bunch of different data. It's great and super useful to have. Right here is where you can activate a specific exercise and it will track. Like I said, I go on bike rides all of the time. And here's just a day I did a quick three and a half mile cycle. And if going into it, I obviously am blurring out the top because that's the map of the route and it's very accurate when I stop, turn around. Again, this was a pretty quick ride, but it still gave me a lot of really good information like the specific speed even, my heart rate variability with warm up, fat burning, aerobic, or if I go all the way to the extreme, which I didn't on this ride. Like I said, it was pretty leisurely. Overall, I've been really happy with the Rincon Gen 2. I love how long the battery lasts on this. I don't like having to charge it all the time. And of course, that case just holding its charge. I haven't even had to plug it in yet. On top of that, no subscription fee, and it works on Android and iOS. So it checks a lot of the boxes that I look for in a smart ring. And since it's so light, you can barely notice it's on. It doesn't bother me at all when I'm sleeping. And of course, does have that sleep apnea detection. Again, I will be sure to link to it down in the description below. Be sure to check it out, the Rincon Gen 2. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think if you're going to pick one up. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.